Michelle Mendoza. Before I joined Fluke Networks, I managed an air separation plant. Industrial Ethernet networks were the backbone of our automation control systems. Today, I'm talking with my colleague, Mark Mullins, about how to troubleshoot these networks. So Mark, let's say my plant was shut down and I suspected a cabling issue. What would I do? Well, thanks, Michelle. When your plant experiences unwanted downtime, you know you want to get it fixed as soon as possible. Having the right tools can make a big difference. Absolutely. If I suspected that it was a cabling problem, I would want to fix it right away. Yeah, but fixing that could take quite a while, maybe even several hours, right? Sure, depending on the cable it could. So before you started fixing it, you'd want to make sure it had actually failed, right? Absolutely, as long as I can figure that out quickly. Well, that's where cable troubleshooters like our microscanner come in. You can connect the tester to the cable, and in seconds, you'll know whether or not it's good. So if the cable is good, I don't have to spend any time replacing it? Right, you can spend your time looking for the real problem. What about if the cable's bad? Well, the tester can tell you what is wrong with the cable and where the problem is. Most of the time, it's one of the connectors on the cable. So all you have to do is remove the failed connector and replace it, and you're back up and running. Great, and that takes a lot less time than replacing the whole cable. Thanks, Mark. If you're interested in learning more about testing your industrial Ethernet cabling, visit us at flukenetworks.com industrial.